Well, just about a week before Christmas, we find ourselves back in uh, Reno, Nevada. We weren't exactly planning to come back this early, but we did spend about a month there, just shy of a month. Yeah. And uh, we had to come back. Uh, Brianna got a bronchial infection. Her upper bronchial tubes are getting affected because the uh, pollution in uh, Cebu is uh, pretty heavy. And uh, it's one of those things that you really don't want to get used to because cancer, lung cancer is a huge problem in Asia all over, especially Hong Kong and uh, area. other areas are so congested with uh, with so many people and um, but it's it's still bad in the big big cities in uh, the Philippines like Manila and and Cebu so after a while you start to really feel it and um, she had a really bad bronchial cough so we we decided to come back early and I guess we're gonna have a Christmas here which is fine we had a ball over there and uh, accomplished quite a bit and uh, even even Maurice was uh, coughing and yeah uh, and also everybody's coughing over there left and right you see these people coughing everywhere yeah they're all sick and the kids you saw when i open my facebook kids is in a hospital because they, they are sick and coughing so brianna too she is sick and coughing over there so mm -hmm. i just decided to bring her back here in u.s yeah and uh, the uh, hospitals were uh, filling up with kids uh, in the emergency room with the uh, tubes in her noses and stuff uh, yeah. from uh, uh, pneumonia and bronchitis so uh, air pollution is really something to consider when you're going to uh, live in in uh, another country. You know, the quality of air is so important, just like the quality of water. And uh, you've got to really investigate and find the areas. In, in uh, the Philippines, there are areas, of course, where you can find clean air, but it's usually in the uh, more remote areas where you can't get uh, services like Wi-Fi and other things. So uh, you've got to go off grid and or go up in higher elevations. So it's uh, a little bit tricky especially in hong kong right now right oh hong kong is so bad right now they've got a right now they have what's called a red red alert yeah. and uh they're restricting people f uh, the kids can't go to school right now and they limit the car yeah the uh they're keeping the kids home from school it's so bad it's so unhealthy and also they're restricting the cars uh, by uh, based on your license plate whether you can take your car out on the road mm -hmm. uh, like Hong Kong is just a frigging disaster I don't know how anybody could live over there that's why the people when we stop in international airport they're wearing masks yeah people are wearing yeah. masks all even in, in uh, Cebu we saw some people oh, yeah. wearing even masks in Cebu. we saw in Americans we saw uh, even some Filipinas wearing masks but of course the Hong Kong people Hong are Kong used to it famous wearing masks yeah, so we're gonna stay. We're just gonna uh, do some cooking here tonight. I'm gonna. Uh, well, after being there for, like I say, almost a month, I was really starting to get the urge for uh, a good uh, American steak, which is really something you cannot find in Asia. You can't find it. You can't. I'm not even picking on Asia. I'm, ta I'm talking about Mexico. Even on our border here, they can't. Uh, you can't get a good steak. And believe me, I've tried. I've been there many times and uh, ordered in the nicest uh, hotels and restaurants, and the steaks just do not taste the same. So and they give you this really thin steak, like like a paper. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, it's not very thick, and it's always tough, and it just isn't succulent. And it doesn't have. <laughs> I don't know if they uh, something. I don't know. And the cattle, the. Um, the way they cook it, I don't know, but I don't care because we're making our own tonight. I went out and got some really good New York strips, uh, prime, and we're going to uh, have some uh, good old American steaks tonight. And uh, we love the Philippines. We'll be back uh, soon enough. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we love Philippines. So. Yeah, so, yeah, the people are great. That's the best part about it as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. So right now we're just prepping these potatoes. We're going to be throwing them in the oven. We're doing a quick prep job, just cleaning these uh, uh, baked potatoes for the oven uh, at 400 degrees for 45 minutes. And uh, let's go ahead and do that. Then we'll get on with the, the uh, party with the steaks. All right. All right. So get some olive oil. We'll get that on there. Rub it in real good. Mm -hmm. And we're going to use garlic, uh, uh, granulated garlic. And we're going to use... Uh, uh, Himalayan sea salt on there. Rub it in real good and we're going to throw them in the oven. All right. Honey, give me the uh, granulated salt, please. Okay. Rub it in really good. Don't mess around. Get in there. And our granulated garlic. Rub it in good. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
You can put it down. There you go. Put the biggest one in the middle. If you throw this in the oven now, keep it going so that we can start the steak. Right. There. All right, 45 minutes and we'll come back to that one. Okay. Just gonna do these Julian like this. What's the name, Julian? Julian. Or like Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> I never this know that they have name how to cut the onions. Oh yeah, you can dice them, you can slice them, you can julienne them. Oh, yeah. Actually, I'm kind of it's a modified uh, deal. It's so easy when you leave the bulb on the bottom, you can cut the other tail end off. But I just feel like having some good onions with this, so I'm gonna kind of do it this way. I don't have to use this, but we can do it tonight. One thing I like to do is make sure these garlic cloves are crushed well, because they cook a lot better and the flavors permeate better throughout. But you just crush them, you don't have to cut them and dice them and slice them and all that bologna. Just, and be careful with the knife. It's a great knife, it's a very sharp French chef knife. But, yep, cooks really well this way. Okay, plenty of pepper, grinded pepper all the way around, everywhere. We're going to do three today, even though there's only two of us and the baby, in case somebody drops by or whatever may need some uh, have a snack for tomorrow I guess so we'll do three all right plenty of salt in this because it's going to sear right in there when you're cooking this, don't worry, you got your temperature up uh, pretty high. It's going to smoke, so open the windows when you do this because it has to be hot to sear it all the way around and uh, seal all those flavors in so we can go ahead and cook it righteously the way it's meant to be cooked. Yes. You can see it's starting to smoke and it's ready to go, so let's get them on. Oh yeah. Let's get down. You better get the fan on. I don't want to turn the fan on. It's so noisy. But I got to a little bit. Be there for about five minutes. I 
to do the in uh, butter added to it and use it for basting as we go. And yes, it does taste shocking. Nice at the end. I just cover it part way so it can still uh, cook right and not, uh, not you don't want to taste it when you want to cook it. Now we got both sides here real well. I'm going to do the edges on the, all of them. Let's do the edges a little bit. Okay, we got all the sides. Let's go ahead and baste it one more time. And we'll stir it in the oven. Oh, yeah. Okay, Mother would be proud. I don't like the good stir. Okay, here we go. In the oven, it's at 500 degrees. Cook that for about 10 or 12 minutes. Okay, well at the moment we got the uh, steaks in the oven, 500 degrees. We're probably gonna cook those about 10 minutes, uh, thereabouts. And uh, Maurice is gonna go ahead and prep some uh, asparagus. We'll have that and that'll finish off our, our meal tonight. I'm gonna cook my asparagus with butter. Mm. No oil, just butter. Mm. But it's a little bit tastier, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna add the seasoning in the asparagus. So I'm gonna do the thyme. Black pepper. Garlic. And the Himalayan salt. Okay. And that's it. It's going to be good in our steak together. I cook it for like five minutes until that's where we just go. Very good. One thing about asparagus, you don't want to overcook it, right? Oh yeah, you don't want to overcook it. Better you want to eat it like crunchy. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so this is it, the finale. We got the New York strips with uh, caramelized onions and garlic and baked potatoes in the oven and the asparagus sauteed in butter. Oh yeah. That's it, and we're adding to that a little uh, American wine, Cabernet, my favorite. And this is the special dish from the Philippines that uh, Maurice loves and grew up with as a child. And they all love it over there. Mango float. It's the mango float. <laughs> so, bon appetit, enjoy. Hope you like this video. 